guys and welcome back to my channel today I wanted to do a tag video it was not a tag video that I was tagged in but it is something that I'm interested in as you know I like to put out content on my channel that I am interested in and I hope you guys are interested in as well today's tag video is going to be the Pinterest tag I'm going to get right into it there's 15 questions total and I got the questions right here so I might look over here a few times Question number one, how many pins do you currently have? 1,400 pins on Pinterest. Um, question two, how many boards do you have? I have 72 boards on Pinterest. I know a lot of boards. Um, how many Pinterest followers do you have? I only have 21, 25 followers on Pinterest. I don't necessarily go on Pinterest to for followers. I go on Pinterest for personal use. But I do have 25 followers on Pinterest. What is the general theme for how you use Pinterest? Recipes, crafts, motivation, decor ideas, etc. I generally use my Pinterest for recipes. That is my first thing. Like, that is the first thing I go to when I get on Pinterest is recipes and searching up different things like that. So um, I definitely say I mostly use Pinterest for recipes. Question number five, do you utilize Pinterest to boost traffic to your blogs or vlogs? No, I do not use Pinterest to boost traffic for anything that I do. I strictly use Pinterest for personal reasons. I never used it to try to up anything or promote anything. Question six, do you pin to any community boards? No, I do not pin to any community boards. I actually did not know about Pinterest community boards until I was reading the questions. So it's definitely something that I'm going to look into and to see if I actually have anybody who uses Pinterest or is into Pinterest like I am here in my community. Question 7. Do you have any Pinterest pet peeves? Yes, I do. I only have one Pinterest pet peeve and that is unorganized pinners. And by that I mean pinner, like pins that are not categorized right. If I go in a hair pen and there's food or in a baby pen and there's hair stuff or things like that. Like I, that is my biggest pet peeve. Question eight. What is your favorite board to pin to? As I said, I mostly go on Pinterest for recipes. That is the board that I have the most pins to is my recipe board or I title. I believe it's titled like family meal ideas. And that is like my most pin to board question nine what is your favorite pin that you have completed and i'm going to cons uh, assume that completed means recreated and my favorite pin that i have recreated is the panda express orange no it's not orange chicken it is the sweet fire chicken that is amazing so so good and if you like chicken it's like kind of sweet and spicy if like that's your thing that is amazing and it's super easy I took a few uh, ingredients but if you have a Kroger I don't really know where else you or if you have a Panda Express I'm sure they sell it as well but I bought from Kroger the Panda Express like sweet chili sauce to skip a few steps and take the easy route and it was so good it tastes exactly like Panda Express it was good. So I definitely recommend you give it a try. And question 10. What is your favorite? No, I did. No, question 10. Do you Pinterest stalk anyone? And I do. I will say I Pinterest stalk two people. And that is Obs and Lala and Brittany and Baby. As, since Brittany and Baby has had Nolan, she doesn't really get on Pinterest too often, which I totally understand. But um, those are like the two people who I Pinterest stalk. I noticed like a lot of pins that Brittany and Baby pin I enjoy myself. And we have a lot of pins that are similar. And Albus and Lala, although we don't eat the same, I love her recipe pins. Like I, I feel like recipes are something that you can always 
make your own like so just because the recipe calls for this this and this doesn't mean you have exactly have to use those things but you can substitute those substitute those things to fit how your family eat and your lifestyle and everything like that so i love her pinterest boards and a lot of her decor decor boards as well i really really love her pinterest in general she's very organized panel like myself so i definitely pinterest stalk her or those two people and question 11 do you utilize secret boards if so what for yes i do utilize secret boards i actually have four secret boards one is a romance board that i was using for to help somebody with a surprise for my mom and so we used a secret board but we both could see it and we both pin stuff in there to help each other with ideas the second board is apartment ideas and it's just like ideas that I'm putting together and things that I don't want to forget once we do move out into our own place. The third board is decor ideas for London's big girl room because once we move, I will be taking her out of her toddler bed and putting her in a bigger bed and I'm going to completely like do her room up. And I'm so excited for that. So that's the that's th three of the pins. And the fourth pin is actually London's birthday ideas. I am in the process of gathering different ideas and different games and food ideas and everything for her birthday party. She Her birthday is March 6th. So I do have about, what is it, almost September. So October, November, December, January, February, March. I have six months. And I definitely like to start ahead because I have a lot of ideas and I ha make a lot of plans. And if I wait too late to start pro like putting those plans into action, then when the time comes i'm so stressed out and i feel like i can't get everything done so i like to start pretty much six months in advance and get everything in order so those are the only four secret pins that i have so i keep reaching up but i'm using my ipad to read the questions off um oh i'm almost done question 12 have you ever attended a real life pinterest party and no i have not um, I only know two other people who use Pinterest in my real life, and that is my aunt and a cousin who lives out of town. And neither one of those are, you know, my aunt, she definitely does use a lot of Pinterest ideas and, like, game ideas and things like that for parties. But she doesn't really go all out and use, like, the whole Pinterest theme ideas. She's more of a creative person on her own. So I have not been to an actual real-life Pinterest party. Question 13. What is one thing that you change about Pinterest if you could? And when I first read this, I tried to think of one thing I would change about Pinterest because I didn't want to skip any questions. But honestly, I wouldn't change anything about Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I get on there at least 50 times a day. And I honestly wouldn't change anything about it. I love Pinterest. And what is one Pinterest tip you have? I don't really know what that means. Like one tip that I've got from Pinterest or one tip I got for a new pinner. If it's one tip I got for a new pinner, I think it would be to keep it organized. Because that's my pet peeve. Keep it organized and make as many boards as you feel like you need. I, I personally use a lot of Pinterest tips. Like, as far as parenting and everything else and tips and tricks and organizing and all of those things in my real life. And it's easy to go back and if I forgot how to fold a sheet of the perfect Martha Stewart way, I could easily go to that board and find that pen. So definitely make as many boards as you need to and utilize those secret boards because I sure do. And if question... 15 which is the last question that is tag three fellow pinners so i went through my pinterest followings of people i follow on pinterest and i thought about the ones that i know haven't done this tag so the three people that i'm going to tag to do this tag is kiana and baby Brittany and baby and 2011 teenage mom and that's it for this tag i hope you guys enjoyed it Please comment below any other videos that you like to see. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join our journey. Bye.